welcome to Elmbrook Church Child Enrichment Center, also known as ECAC. We are the preschool that was started back in 1975 here at Elmbrook Church. We start our tour today at the main entrance of the building so that you can get acquainted with where we are. My name is Heather Serna, one of the assistant directors, and along with Ingrid Devin, we'll take you on a tour of our classroom so that you can get a better feel of who we are. Thanks for stopping by, enjoy the tour. As part of our COVID precautions, we ask that parents and children use hand sanitizer as they enter the building. At this time, all adults and children, five years of age and older, are required to wear a mask while indoors. Each family will need to visit one of our health check stations to complete a daily child health screen agreement, or what we call a golden ticket. This form can be printed from our website and completed at home prior to arriving at the center. Please record your child's name, temperature, be able to answer no to the four questions listed, sign and date. This form is your child's golden ticket into their classroom. If your child is not feeling well, we ask that you would keep them at home. If you have questions, you can refer to our emoji chart also located on our website. You know your child better than anyone, and if they seem a little off, it is probably best to keep them at home. If a child does become ill while in our care, they will be separated from the rest of the group and attended to by one of the office staff. While parents or guardians are contacted, the child will be provided with a mat to rest on, a blanket to snuggle with, and quiet books and toys. All items will be disinfected after each use. Safety and security are a priority here at Eckett. Entrance doors to the church are monitored with video cameras and locked during our school day. Classroom doors remain locked when children are present, except for a drop-off and pickup times. During these times, one teacher will remain at the door to greet your family. One teacher from each class has a walkie-talkie for fast and easy communication with the office staff. As part of our security measures, each parent or guardian has a key fob number specific to them to check children in and out of the center. The key fob system helps us track when children arrive and leave, as well as who dropped them off and who picked them up. This simple process can be done at any of the kiosks located outside the classrooms. All of our teachers have completed early childhood classes, are certified in CPR, and trained in first aid. Please see our website to meet our EPIC staff. Our main program here is our preschool program, which starts at 9 a.m. and lasts until 1 o'clock p.m., in which children have uh, large group time, small group time, choice of centers, uh, a morning snack time, as well as lunch. Um, we do know that many families are in need of more than just that preschool time though. So our earliest for drop-off is 7.30 a.m. and then we extend our pickup time up until 5 p.m. Any children that are with us past the one o'clock time do stay for a rest time from 1 to 2.30, which is mandated by the state. Uh, the room that we're in here is actually where our extended day kids get dropped off and picked up. Uh, their normal classroom teachers will then pick them up for that preschool time. On our non-gym days, our children get their large motor development through recess, usually outdoors on our playground. However, being in Wisconsin, there are plenty of days of inclement weather. So we do have our indoor recess room available for classrooms to visit in which children can climb, practice balancing, uh, use scooters, and several other activities, including sensory um, activities we have here on the wall. Large motor development is super important for our children. So all of our classes have the opportunity to come up to our gym a couple days a week where they have a variety of equipment to use. Um, scooters, balls, hoops, obstacle courses, um, lots of running uh, games and other equipment available for them. Um, our gym time is a structured teacher-led time as opposed to our outdoor playground time. Our fenced-in playground allows a safe place for children to run, play, and imagine. Our play structure has multiple components in which children can climb, slides to go down, and tunnels to crawl through. Beneath the play structure, our playground is covered with rubber chips to create a safe space in case a child were to fall. We also have a sandbox and multiple playhouses to allow for children to have a variety of options during their recess times. 
When the weather is nicer, we utilize sidewalk, chalk, bubbles, music boards, and water tables. We know that for many of our two-year-olds, this is their first preschool experience, and it can be hard to be away from mom and dad. Our teachers provide a loving environment with lots of love and cuddles. They quickly respond to cries and seek to understand unspoken needs. Daily routines are filled with a balance of age-appropriate activities to help develop both small and large motor skills. Self-help skills are practiced and encouraged, as well as how to interact with other children at school. Potty training requires consistency both at home and here at school. We want to partner with you to achieve this important developmental milestone. Teachers work with the children at an individual level when they are ready to begin this process. There is much celebrating when they reach the school. While snack is provided in tuition, we do ask that you send a lunch from home. Our children really work on learning their self-help skills as they unpack their lunch boxes and feed themselves and drink. After lunch, we even have them um, wash their space to work on those life skills of cleaning up after themselves. The teachers in our three-year-old classrooms plan activities to challenge individual development and regularly change centers to keep children engaged in learning. Consistent routines and classroom expectations are in place to help children continue to develop strong social and school skills. They will learn to follow directions, participate in group activities, and use polite manners. We value the friendships children establish with their peers and model problem-solving techniques. Children are encouraged to use kind words, cooperative play, and maintain a respectful classroom community. In our four-year-old classrooms, while we still work on developing the whole of the child, we do focus a bit more on our academics. Uh, in our classrooms, you might find things such as our learning wall, where the children uh, have a constant reference of a shape, letter, color, number, and maybe some simple words that they're working on. We try to make sure that their learning is very hands-on and they have a variety of manipulatives and materials. And while we may do some worksheets, uh, we make sure that they have practice with letters and numbers in a variety of other methods as well. We also offer a transitional five class here. For those students who maybe turn five in the summer or just miss that kindergarten cut off or maybe just need a little extra time having some exposure before they are in a full day, um, five day a week kindergarten program. Um, in this classroom, we do a lot of kindergarten prep work. The children uh, learn many sight words, book bags are sent home. We really do our best to prepare these children on a good path for the school years ahead of them. And we're going to do this for a couple weeks because then it's a book. So we're going to do a sight word book. Okay, so this is the first page in our book. So pick a sight word and then all the colors are on the table. During this time, where things are not what they once were, our staff has worked together to create normal childhood experiences. Since we were unable to take the children on field trips, we have found ways to have field trips or similar experiences come to us. In the fall, we assembled an on-site pumpkin patch complete with a hayride. Other all-school events have included dress-up days, themed snacks, and special activities, such as our 100th day celebration and our literacy week. Since we try to keep our classes from mingling as much as possible, we set up stations so that they can rotate and then we're able to clean in between groups, providing us a way to still have all school activities. We know that there are a lot of great preschools out there, but what sets us apart is our distinctiveness of our Christian education. We want the children to know that they are loved by God, and so we uh, teach Christian education as a whole school, uh, having the same songs, the same Bible verse, the same life point, um, where siblings will be able to um, be learning about the same things at the same time. And then each of our classes will then uh, adapt to their age level to uh, teach Christian ed in a variety of ways, through the use of puppets, um, dress up for the children or the teachers, acting out the stories, and much more. Here at ECAC, it's our goal to provide a loving Christian environment where we can serve children and their families as we help each child develop intellectually, physically, 
emotionally, socially, and spiritually into his or her God-given potential. Thanks for watching. Contact us today to schedule your visit.